when the coffee is piled up in the stores and it is not properly dried, it loses the flavor. And Kenyan coffee is sold because of our flavor. So we are losing because coffee is getting stolen at the drying beds, at the stores, and we are also losing quality because our coffee is stuck up somewhere in an environment where we are not supposed to be doing so for coffee because it loses the grade and loses the flavor. Number three, right now, because millers have no licenses, especially in Kiambu County, I can confirm, all the millers in Kiambu that were operating, most of them, I'm not so sure whether they are all, but most of them have no license. So farmers cannot take their coffee for milling. And therefore, even if they got a buyer who is in Germany or in Russia or wherever, they cannot sell the coffee because the coffee is not milled. They can only sell parchment coffee. Now, this is the problem now. If we allow farmers to start selling parchment coffee, we allow local thieves to thrive. Because anybody now can break into any store, steal parchment coffee and take it to the market. But if you have to take it to the miller, you make it more difficult for the thieves to survive. Now as we speak, because parchment coffee now has become the way to go, thieves are even selling, stealing in our farms. They are now coming to harvest the red cherry from the farms because we have created the opportunity. Now the reason why I'm here is because as we speak, farmers have nowhere to go and get financing for the next crop harvest because traditionally because of the way market chain was organized in Kenya the same marketers who we chased away the millers we chased away they were the people who are financing farmers to get fertilizer to get pesticides and so on now that these people have no licenses to practice they have no confidence to give farmers financing 